Kia ora tātou ko Noura Uriwitza hau e uri no Ngāti Prou Ngārua hine me te atia wā. Ko e mpaholi nō te nte ngaunga hau, he uri tēnei nō roto Waikato Tainui. Ko Tainui te waka, ko Taupiri te maunga, ko Taupiri hoki te marae. Kia ora. Um, I didn't even know I'm a musician, but um, obviously I had a love for drums. I had my first drum set that I wrecked when I was about five from my uncle and always got in trouble at school for tapping on the, on the uh, desk, you know, got into detention and so always loved the beats and uh, got into DJing it after that. So um, probably just surrounded by musical whānau uh, in my community at Waifia too, you know, all the parties they used to have. So. Uh, reggae was a strong influence back in those days, you know, with the uncles with their dreadlocks, so um, just loved music and um, always remember winning the um, Blue Light Disco Michael Jackson dance competition, so had a bit of a groove too. Well, it started on the marae for me, um, and actually I thought it was a bit of a burden to, to begin with. Um, you know, my nannies would always say, oh, you know, go over there and entertain the people, and I was like, oh, I just want to play with the kids, but um, it kind of started for me in that way and then it became a little bit more like a purpose or a bit of a role and I, I started to find my place within my, within my whānau. Um, and then I actually learned that I could express the way that I was feeling um, through music. So yeah, that's kind of where it started for me. Just, you know, love running events and love supporting uh, local community initiatives really and just trying to promote our local artists and musicians and, and just help out wherever I can really, just to try and weave you know, the peoples through the, uh, the waves and the, the rivers and uh, to try and you know, get to the end goal and, and create some magic. Um, so I'm working on an album at the moment um, which is all in English. Um, so I've only released Māori tracks and a bilingual track, uh, but this is an English um, album and it's called Koha. Um, and I'm excited to get it out finally. Um, just dropped another little six track album with a couple of remixes in there. Um, I've got a few more tracks to finish, uh, funded by Te Mangai Pāho and a new music video that I'm going to be shooting over the next couple of weeks a bit of a dance uh, music video that's going to be choreographed by, uh, well, our version of Paris Goebel, uh, Te Hau Winitana. So I am releasing a music video um, for Tōku Reo on the 28th of August. And um, yeah, I'm excited to share that with everybody. Had some really cool um, whānau, friends, come be a part of that kaupapa as well. Uh, so yeah. My people, you know, Tewi Māori, um, that's what I'm here for. I want to tell our stories and sing about our stories, so, uh, or even visualise our stories, you know, that's some of the goals for me, just to get into the TV stuff. Um, so yeah, my community at Waifatu, lucky enough to grow up around our language and, and culture and tikanga, so that's my, my big inspiration really, is our, our community at Waifu too, but even wider than that, our, our iwi Māori. I generally draw inspiration from current affairs, things that are happening around me, um, issues that, um, that I identify um, through certain kaupapa that I'm working on, or um, things that happen within my whānau as well that inspire me to write particular waiata. Um, many challenges, <laughs> there are many challenges and I guess um, one of the more recent challenges is COVID um, due to the restrictions obviously we can't um, go to festivals and and I guess it's, it's like a bit of a culture as well, you know, the music culture and so we all gather, um, um, you know, for kotaitanga and, and all of that stuff as well. <clears throat> And also, I guess, not being recognised as a professional um, as such. Um, also, I guess, for myself, being uh, a mama, um, you know, finding balance to 
to write music, release music, um, but also, you know, maintain relationships and and continue to write. So that is quite challenging, but obviously it's really rewarding, rewarding as well. So, yeah. Well, obviously unity is a community. So um, yeah, kotahitanga, no doubt is a word that, yeah, you know, whanaunga tanga, all the tangas you can probably think of, manaki tanga. So that's what community is all about. And uh, that's why I'm probably doing what I'm doing on all these different uh, komiti whakahaere to uh, try and improve our community. Unity. Yeah, kotahitanga, uh, manaki tanga, um, whanau, hapuri, um, when I think about community, I think about a village um, and how, how we are raised from a village and how we raise a village as well. Um, that's what I think about. I'm always about locals, so you know you should be checking out the sister Amber Holly. She's got some new stuff coming up, Cy and Doherty, uh, with some new music as well. Mark Apisal just finished dropping some goodness as well. Uh, also, Amo Kuratahi, she's, she's, she's amazing, man. She's on the rise, she's got some unreleased music, so looking forward to helping her drop that stuff. And uh, Tuari Dawson as well, he's, he's got a soulful voice. He's been uh, sort of parked up for about a decade, so uh, good to see the bro back out there doing his music. I, I've been following her for a very long time, and actually she's inspired a lot of the mahi that I do. Um, Maizirika. Um, She's just released a new album um, and yeah, I just, I don't know, I think because I'm like an ultimate fan of hers as well, um, I can't help but follow her and I just <clears throat> am drawn to her energy um, and the way that she, she writes uh, music and she is and the way that she is as a as a as a manawahine, as a mama, and as a Maori artist, um, yeah, I really love watching whatever she's up to.